Welcome back to the show. Baron Brown is leading the Grand Prairie boys basketball team back to prominence. This season, the Gophers made it to the playoffs for the first time in 16 years. And the head coach has the school, the players, and the community believing that the best is yet to come. You got to be a dreamer. You got to get something that you can hold on to that no one can take from you. tough guys like we fight that's what we do i'm the first person off the bus every time we travel i said we're here to win and i get off the bus and i say it out loud we're here to win this is our gym we're going in to take their gym away from them i think they're able to see what the possibilities are to start a foundation of winning now so that 10 years later when we look back at gp we consider us as winners <laughs> Whenever we put that jersey on, we're going to make sure that we give everything we can uh, so that the people can know that uh, we have something special here at Grand Prairie. I think we all just bought in and we all, all play our roles and we all want to win. And we want to make Coach happy as well and just shock the community as a whole. Win. Every time you wake up, you're winning. You're winning. Just the mindset. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. And I know that. And I understand. But whatever this, this ride takes us, I'm here. I'm, I'm all for it. If you pop out, you got to be the reversal because I took right. your spot. Good, Trey. Open up. Always open up. Your man might not be there. He always told us he's trying to build a program. He basically told us that we the start of the foundation. Man, these kids been working since April. And, and the things that we really want to happen, they're happening. We'll play anybody, anywhere, anytime. And we that generally comes from the head coach. Uh, he's a fearless guy. He's a fighter. He's he's feisty. Energy, most definitely the energy. He, he, he get us hyped before every game. Him and Coach Jones, they both bring the energies. A D-O-G, a dog. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it, you know. Coach Brian is a dog, and he believes in raising dogs. No plays off, no days off. Just coming in, working hard every day, listening to your coach. You know, some days it's going to be tough, but you still got to push through it. Oh, I knew we would fight. I knew we would. Because those kids was outside in 102 degrees, doing hurdles, running hills, flipping tires, just create a toughness, a toughness. Their circumstances make you tougher than them. Every day, we would tell the kids, it's going to turn around, it's going to turn around, you just have to work. Only the tough will survive, man. That's, that's all I can say about it. Them, them, uh, them workouts, them spring workouts are no joke. Yeah, them, them, them days I don't miss. <laughs> at all. <laughs> but them days I will cherish forever, you know, because he teaches he teaches you the value of hard work, you know, working hard to get to a place that you want to be. There's not a lot of pressure, you know. Yes, it is. I'm putting it on myself because I'm a winner. You know, I walk through that door every day, I'm winning. We got a great job, great facility, and these people love these kids. They're, they're behind these kids, you know, just... When you win, you feel good about yourself. I've never had a coach with that much, much fire in him, you know. And it kind of, it kind of gives me a little confidence to know that my, my I know my coach is gonna ride with me no matter what. It's pretty, it's the same team from last year. Just one kid is different, Jalen. Just seeing them play, I, I could just, I could feel the void that, that they were missing, you know. I, I could feel that that one player, that one purpose that they just need to just change the whole team. So one day we were talking, he was like, Coach, I know what you're missing. I said, what? Me. I told him that I, I could be that one player, you know, I, I could be that missing link to this chain. I knew it would be good, but I didn't think it would be this good. But you got to dream, you got to see it before it happens. The way, the way we impacted not just this school, but the whole community to rally up with us, I, I never expected this. Because, you know, I was coming to the game where it was barely 10 people in there. Now, after games, when I look in the stands, I'm, I'm seeing a crowd full of people. You know, people are coming back and haven't been back to GP in 20, 30 years. They're coming to the game. They're excited. They're chanting. They're screaming, yelling at the fans. I just think it's, it's created an excitement that they've been waiting on. Uh, the city's on fire. Uh, everyone's excited. 
Once you display something that people want to grasp on, they grasp it, you know? When it's appealing to them, they, they want to be a part of something. The way we play is something that people can, you know, relate to and cheer about. You know, and I tell our kids, man, you have to earn people respect. They're not going to give you respect when you show up to the game. You have to beat them. Beat them. They'll respect you. You know, no one's laughing at GP anymore. Man, I... I tell him every day I love him, you know, because I look up to him because he's been where I where I want to go. You know, all the aspirations of being a B1 athlete, he didn't done it all. And I tell people all the time, in order for you to help a kid, you got to know the kid. You got to know him. I know every one of my kids. I'm raising men, young men to be men. I'm showing them the steps. This is how you do it. Having people like Coach B and Coach Jones always keeping you grounded and um, always having the mindset that it's not just about you, that it's about everybody and you have to lead, you know, because we eventually one day we're going to be Fathers, you're gonna be husbands, you're gonna have to lead a household. They're very resilient kids. You know, no matter what's going on around them, you can find a way to refocus. This is the quote he has on the board um, by Frederick Douglass. I, I believe it said, it, if you don't struggle, then there's no progress. It's just fighting through whatever you got to to get to where you want to be. You know, I interviewed for a couple jobs. You know, I felt like I should have gotten those jobs, but it wasn't meant to be. I got this job, but they, they hired the right person. Because I'm built for this. We winning. I feel like we was always people doormat. And now that we actually winning, it, it just feels good to win. This is not a fluke. We're here to stay. Coach Brown, as, long, as long as I'm here at Grand Prairie, we will be competitive. Now, my goal is to win a state championship. I will win a state championship. I already see it. I'm doing it.